All right, what is up, you guys? Zuri here, back for another video. My name is Zuri Vankovic, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Here we talk about things growth, spirituality, personal development, and just overall leveling up as a human being and living your best life. So if any of that sounds of interest to you, hit subscribe, join the movement. I uh, greatly appreciate it as well. So today what I want to talk about is uh, a fun topic that I think you might benefit a lot from clicking on this video. And that is, how do you start your growth path? And what is a growth path? So the way I define this is when you see a gap from where you are to where you want to be, but you don't know how to get there. You know you might feel that you don't have uh, enough fulfillment or there's not enough happiness or joy in your life and you have to bridge that gap somehow. So I think from where you are to where you want to be, you know, you can grow downward or you can grow upward and I personally would rather grow upward. So that's what we're going to talk about today is the growth path and how you can embark one on your own. You might even be on it and hope this video can somehow add to your journey. But before anything else, let's just jump right in. So growth path for me, this whole journey started off when I was 18 years old. I was just in high school going into university and really just figuring out like who I was and kind of how to operate in the world, right? You come out of high school as a teenager. And um, I started asking questions and I really think it comes down to, you know, the very basic stuff like, who are we? What are we doing here? And what do I do here with my limited finite time on earth? So as I asked these questions, it was interesting. People, opportunities, and stuff would start arising, right? Because as soon as you put it in your awareness, it's going to start showing up. And so for me, that was my friend's mom handing me a book called The Alchemist. And most of you probably haven't read it, but there's a good amount that probably have. It's one of the most famous books by Paulo Coelho in the entire world. I think it's in like 60 different languages, like, 12, like 100 million copies sold or something. It's insane. So if you read this book, it's about Santiago and he's this little shepherd boy and he has a dream. And the whole book is him starting to pursue this dream step by step and opportunities opening up his way. So how this related to me is I read this book and I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. You start looking for opportunities in your own life that is going to get you to the next spot to closer to where you want to be. Now, the thing is, the way the world operates uh, and the way God operates is it doesn't always happen according to our plan. Sometimes it does when you work really hard and stuff, but a lot of this stuff is going to happen serendipitously. So I started this when I was, again, 18, and uh, I've, it's been an incredible journey since then. But a lot of what it took to get to the each next step is a lot of faith, courage, and overall just not knowing how the next step was going to unfold, but being okay with it anyways and just taking that step. So for someone in your position, whether you're just getting started on your growth path or you don't even know what a growth path is, how this could show up for you, and I think some really tangible ways that you can step into your growth path is first off, just being open to having a growth path, right? Knowing that where you are right now, you don't have to stay stagnant. Why would you want to, right? So knowing that there is a better possibility is acknowledging that as step one. The second one is kind of creating new opportunities for you. How do you create new opportunities? Well, uh, in my opinion, you have to do stuff that you don't normally do. Maybe that's picking up a new hobby. Maybe that's picking up a new book, The Alchemist. Maybe that's picking up new friends. You know, getting out of your regular routine is the only way you're gonna create new opportunities for yourself. For me, I was really blessed to come from an awesome family. My mom was really supportive when I was a kid. She used to always hook me up with opportunities. She'd be like, hey, do you want to go to, uh, do you want to go on this trip? You know, do you want to try and get sponsorship for this? And I was so unmotivated when I was in high school that I didn't take her up on those things. And as a result, uh, I started my growth path, not late, but like later than I could have. I had to choose it, right? When I was 18, an adult, right? So when I did that, um, I started saying yes to opportunities. I started saying yes to 
uh, leadership stuff. I started saying yes to trips when friends invited me out to stuff that I wouldn't normally say yes to. I started doing that and pushing my comfort zone in those regards. Another thing is reading books. I got into books not until I was probably 20 years old. I really started like actually listening and reading to books and starting to just expand my mind. When I started to do this and you actually start obtaining a lot of the knowledge in the book, you are going to start changing your thoughts, right? It's gonna have an influence on you. And that can be a positive or negative, but a lot of the stuff, you know, is, you know, as long as it's personal development from trusted people is gonna influence you in a positive way. And when you have new ideas, those ideas can stir up new actions. And those new actions can cause new beliefs about you, yourself, and what's possible for you. So reading books is actually monumental if you wanna be on the growth path. And along with that, consuming content, um, podcasts, YouTube channels like this, there's a lot of great people on YouTube as well for you to embark on this stuff. Another thing is travel. I started traveling when I was 17, 18. And you start seeing other cultures, you start seeing how the world isn't how, the world isn't always how we think it is. The world is how we think of it through our three-dimensional like perception, right? But when you start getting to other cultures and you start getting into other ways of the world, you notice how other people live. And we're like, wait, hey, everyone's not like me. You know, everybody doesn't think the way I think. You know, are my beliefs actually the, the right ones? There's so much, there's so many ideas. There's so many beliefs out there. And when you get, when you get immersed in that in another culture, it kind of just expands your mind and it gets you thinking, wow, is my way of thinking the best way of thinking? Is there other uh, better ways of doing this? And so travel has been like actually the big, biggest thing for me probably. And seeing, uh, meeting people along the way and you just grow as a, as a human being and become more cultured. Um, another thing that has been huge for uh, my growth path is making new friends, right? I still have a lot of my buddies from high school and my friends from high school, but another one, you have to change your environment. And if you change your environment, then you're gonna meet, again, new people, new ideas, new experiences, and that's gonna open up different avenues for your growth path. And that's been absolutely mon monumental for me. Taking little opportunities as well. Third year university, there was this uh, leadership center. You know, you had to have a certain GPA to, to go on this trip and I live in Vancouver, but you could fly out to Ottawa, which is the capital on the other side of the country, on the capital of Canada. And if you go there, uh, you could work in parliament. And I had no interest in politics, was not a political person at all. My grades weren't good enough for the program. And I applied anyways. And by doing that, pushed my comfort zone. I got to live in a different place for a semester, got to experience a different city. And it was one of the most fun programs and highlights of my university experience. So putting myself out there, I would have never had that opportunity to met people, uh, meet people in politics. Uh, it was just, uh, it was a really cool experience to meet uh, new friends as well. So taking advantage of opportunities like that have been huge. So along with that, um, everything else that you can think of, like it's really just a matter of getting out of your comfort zone, um, being willing to put yourself in new environments. And overall just, um, be, making the conscious decision that you want better for you and your life. Um, for me, another monumental one was working out. Working out has been a consistent thing for me to be able to develop my beliefs about myself and my capabilities, uh, to be able to feel good and release, um, like literally grow as a human being. Like you're pushing your muscles to their fullest extent, you're stretching them, doing whatever you can to get to the next level. So, there's tons more content and I can do another video about growth path and maybe share some more about my experiences with it. But at the end of the day, it's really just changing your mindset and flipping the script, like whatever your programming is, you know, maybe you're caught up in your office routine and you know, you know, this job isn't the end all be all for you, right? Or maybe you're working part time or you're going to school and maybe you don't like what you're in school, but you're exploring this and then now uh, it's gonna open up another opportunity for you. I have no regrets, you know, over the last eight years of 
the steps that I've taken to get to where I am because it's all been part of my journey. And in The Alchemist, Santiago calls it his personal legend. So you, each and every one of you watching this video, everybody that you know, is on their personal legend. And that's the whole beauty of life is, you know, you can experience so many different things and have similar experiences, but everyone's is so unique. So with that being said, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a follow-up of this video, because I feel like I could make another two videos just on different tangible ways to be able to expand your mindset and grow as an individual. But in terms of getting started, these are some really basic things, reading, traveling, making new friends, exercising, working out, and just getting new habits and hobbies, right? Just trying stuff that's outside of the norm. Eventually getting to a point where you're gonna outgrow your current environment and then you have to expand somewhere else and kind of start over, but starting with more experience. And by doing that, you're just gonna continue to level up in life. So if you did like this video, like this video, hit the subscribe button, join me on this growth path journey. And I'm hoping to try and get this channel to a thousand uh, subscribers by the end of the year. And so if you could be a part of that, it would be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Talk to you soon.